hello everyone welcome and welcome back in today's video we're going to be looking at the visa bulletin for april like we all know the visa bulletin uh, summarizes the availability of the immigrant visa numbers for each month which will talk about the final action date and the dates for filing the applications with the national visa center indicating when the immigrant visa applicant should be notified to assemble and submit required documentations and um, with this visa, with this visa bulletin, you are able to have a track on how your case is being processed, starting from when it was approved from the um, the USCIS. Now let's get to see the final action dates. Now we're going to be looking at the meaning and the differences between final action dates for filing sponsored preferences and the dates for filing family sponsored visa applications now there is a basic difference between these two dates i get a lot of questions from people asking so what is the difference between the two charts on the visa bulletin so stick around let's get to see these um it's just a single difference welcome once more as we can see right here, final action dates for family sponsored preference visas. Now, let's first of all read, then I'll have time to explain. On the chart below, the listing of the date for any class indicates the class is oversubscribed. C means current, that numbers are unauthorized, are authorized rather, for issuance to all qualified applicants. And U means unauthorized. That numbers are not authorized for issuance. Only for applicants whose priority date is earlier than the final action dates below. Now, this is basically what final action dates for family sponsored preference visas means. Now, the basic thing you want to get from here is that with the final action dates, that's the first chart on the visa bulletin. What you get is if the priority date is authorized for issuance, which means if the NVC is ready to start creating a case for this number. So if it is current, it simply means that it is qualified and authorized for processing. And if it is not authorized and means it is not qualified for processing so it's going to just be at the it's going to be at the um the nvc until it is qualified for processing now let's get to see the um the date for filing family sponsored applications that's the second chart we see right here. On this section, when you are qualified, when you when the National Visa Center is ready to process your case, they would let you know if you can start gathering documents and pay required fees. On this chart, those who are available are those whose preference whose preference category that was priority dates are earlier than the dates that will be shown on the chart same as for the first chart so you are either you are, you're only qualified if your co priority date is earlier than the date shown on the chart let's take for example um your priority date is your f1 category and your priority date is maybe november 2013 it means you are authorized your case is authorized for issuance and for the second chart b if your priority date for example you are f1 is maybe june or july 2016 or 2015 it means the national visa center would alert you 
to start gathering documents for submission. Once again, the difference between the chart A and chart B on the visa bulletin is chart A tells you if you are qualified for issuance and your priority date should be earlier than what is shown on the chart. And if you're qualified for issuance, it means it is ready at the case bank for you to be informed on the next process. Chart B is when the National Visa Center will be contacting you to start submitting documents. And your priority date should obviously as well be um, earlier than the dates that will be shown on the chart. It might get a little complicated to understand, but if you take a look at your case number right now, your priority date right now, you probably should be having some questions. And that's why we have the comment section in this video. Use the comment section and make a question. Ask a question then. I'll probably come back to answer them. But as of now, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, share the video. And we're trying to get 4,000 subscribers. And I would appreciate if you can help me get to that goal. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next one. God bless you. And bye.